Local school districts have to wait to see if publishers can revise their books to meet state requirements in time for the new school year. The president of the Florida Education Association, Andrew Spar, is here with more on this. Andrew, thanks for being here. Uh, we're talking about math. So why are these textbooks so controversial? Well, that's a great question. I think this is political theater more than anything else. I mean, the fact of the matter is a lot of these books are currently used in Florida schools. They're being rewritten to meet the new standards that Florida recently adopted, but it is math. And in math, uh, you know, nowhere in our school, quite honestly, do we teach critical race theory uh, or social emotional learning as content. Uh, what we talk about with social emotional learning is making sure that kids feel safe and secure and are ready to learn. Uh, but math books do not contain that information. And again, they're being used now in Florida schools. They're approved by the state right now. This is just political theater by the governor. Uh, so what criteria are these books being evaluated on? Because they, they do have to point to specific examples in order to reject them. So what's going in to this decision? Well, Florida has always had a process in which the state lists textbooks they would approve for use in school districts. What we don't know right now is who's on that committee this time around. They haven't released the names. We don't know their credentials or their backgrounds. We don't even know if they're educators. Uh, but then this group of, of textbooks is then adopted by school districts from that list. Uh, and so what they have done so far is they've released scores. First, they released just the books they approved. They've at least now told us the books they rejected, uh, which are big publishing companies, many who contribute politically uh, here in the state of Florida to candidates, maybe even the governor. Uh, and, and so they now have a, a scenario where I think what's going to happen is they're going to go back to these textbook companies, tell them to make a change here or there, maybe add a comma change of sentence, and then they're going to come back and approve these books because it's politically motivated. I don't believe there's anything in these books that's questionable. We should be looking at the content. The governor's right. Math, there is a right answer. The issue is what kids need to be able to know is how do they get to that right answer? And that's what we focus on here in the state of Florida. That's what our teachers do all the time. Now, when speaking about these books, the governor said that it seems, this is a quote, it seems that some publishers attempted to slap a coat of paint on an old house built on the foundation of Common Core and indoctrinating concepts like race essentialism, especially bizarrely for elementary school students. What's your response to that? Yeah, my response is there's no evidence of that. We do not indoctrinate students. I don't believe textbook companies are trying to indoctrinate students. This is a political agenda of the governor. Uh, it's wrong. It's hurting kids. It's undermining the profession in our schools. And he's really trying to break the, the bond, the trust, that sacred trust that exists between teachers and parents. And I'll say this, look, my daughter is in seventh grade here in the state of Florida in our public schools. She hasn't had a science teacher since the third week of January when after the winter break, her science teacher said, I've had enough with the way they're treating us and I'm walking away from the profession. And she's not alone. In the state of Florida, we have over 4,000 teacher vacancies, over 5,000 vacancies of our support staff, our bus drivers, our paraprofessionals. Those are the real issues parents want the governor addressing. The governor refuses to acknowledge the teacher and staff shortages in the state and address that. And instead, he's doing this political theater, making stuff up, quite honestly, it seems, as he goes along uh, and is really trying to, to, again, break that sacred trust between parents and teachers. All right. So now local school districts are waiting to see if publishers can revise the books to meet the state's requirements. What if they can't? I think they will. Again, they contribute to political campaigns. I think this is all a show. I think the governor wants to say he stopped textbook companies from indoctrinating students in the state of Florida. We have no idea what they're being asked to change because we have no idea what the objection is. They just keep referring to them as that they have special topics in these books. But again, uh, we don't know what it is. And, and I think in the end, they will approve some of these books. They're, they're big textbook companies. And again, most of them are currently used in Florida schools. All right. President of the Florida Education Association, Andrew Spar. Andrew, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.